and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Today in the arena, we are playing Explorer Blue White Control. But CGB, I thought that you hated Blue Explorer as a format and would rather have your eyes gouged out with a spoon. No questions. Today, the Explorer is brought to us by a champion. The U.S. Regional Championship winner at DreamHack Atlanta, Daniel Weiser, a true student of the dojo, playing blue-white Yorian control into a sea of Phoenix and Amalia combo and Cat Oven and Rakdos mid-range, Smuggler's Copter, Unbanned. Doesn't matter. Don't need any of that. Just playing Good old Yorian Memory Deluge, Shark Typhoon, to Fairy Hero of Dominaria, Four Wandering Emperors. What a masterpiece. What a beautiful pile of brilliant card advantage and control. You love to see it. Look at all the power in the mana base. Restless Anchorage, Field of Ruin, three of them. Hall of the Storm Giants, Castle Ardenvale. What is the strategy for such a pile of cards? to cast cards like Temporary Lockdown and Supreme Verdict early to take out all the little creatures of the format, and then cast Planeswalkers later and Shark Typhoons to drown the opponent in card advantage and power. And that's it. That's what you need to know. Good to see Get Lost making an appearance here in the older format, uh, showing its legs. Uh, there is kind of some combo nation stuff here that one would hope to achieve someday on the bucket list for the deck, like Temporary Lockdown, Exile My Omen of the Seas, Get Lost My Own Temporary Lockdown, Get Two Map Tokens, Get My Omen of the Seas back. Who doesn't want value the hard way? Come on, you all want value the hard way. Let me know in the comments if you want value the hard way. The other thing that must be mentioned about the deck is that no, Divide by Zero was not in it. Uh, this was a best of three deck with a fully polished sideboard designed to hit a format with Collected Company and Arclight Phoenix. So the card in this spot was Hollowed Moonlight. There was also one in the sideboard. Hollowed Moonlight is one in a white for an instant that draws a card. The rest of the text is when an Arclight Phoenix or Cards Off Collected Company, basically a creature enters the battlefield without being cast, you exile that creature instead. Kind of containment priest on a cantrip. Uh, but that card is not on the MTG Arena. Much like Smuggler's Copter. Wizards. So uh, I added my own spice here because I'm playing best of one because that's what I do. I added divide by zero because I somewhere I became nostalgic for the days of lessons. Leave a comment if you miss lessons. So I have lessons in my best of one sideboard to get some extra value out of the situation. But everything else is exactly as Daniel ran it to his victory at DreamHack Atlanta, making the dojo proud. So yes, we explore in Explorer. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of Covert Go Blue, and you can find all of his unique tokens and playmats at Covert Go Blue HQ. Take to the skies with CGB's Shark token and playmat, and his premium Dragon Rider token and playmat, or become the apex predator of your next game night with his Dinosaur Rider playmat and token. CoolStuffInc.com slash CGB is your place for all things Covert Go Blue. So check it out if you want to channel your inner one in best of one. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. First victim. Kraplasoi. I, whatever that means. Uh, can't cast the lockdown, but it does enough. Probably won't die right away. It begins. Phoenix, so popular. Phoenix, the deck that Blue White faced in the finals of the regional championship. Nope. Something else. Or maybe just different colors of Phoenix. We chill. It's what we do. Cycle sensor. gonna be a war field of ruin can set us up with double white but there will probably be a real use for it and the lockdown isn't very important here 
And yet, let's play it. Just to hold that priority convincingly. No Shark Typhoon just yet. We're doing fine. Everything's fine. I think shocking there is perfectly fine. It keeps up veto and make disappear. Gyre Reach Sanitarium. So this, I believe, is a control deck built around locking you out of Narset with the Sanitarium. Let's wait. The opponent using the Sanitarium is kind of good for us. We could have also cycled a Shark Typhoon there, but I don't think we need to be the first to act. Our Shark's more likely to actually hit something and do something if we wait until they use their mana somehow. If I could dig through time, make it disappear. Nothing. We like that. And we keep drawing land. It's so good. Just keep on moving. Doing nothing. Doing nothing is winning. Like Iowa football for a really obscure reference for you guys. Look at top four. Put some in graveyard. They've been to Thoughtseize. Which means they probably picked a thought sees. Told you. So, do we warm them up with a wandering emperor? We've seen two of their riddles. They might have another delve spell available that we can't interact with. Let's get cooking. I would like to draw Memory Deluge immediately. Stick in. Run away. You'll be safer. Let your mm -hmm. That's a good draw, too. I'll take it. I accept. They could have killed it, they already would have killed it. The thing is, I don't know what their threat is. They might have their own Shark Typhoon. We might block a shark with a shark. If they're going to use removal on this, that's fine. But let's keep the Wandering Emperor charged up. Commit? Sure. Back in the deck. I can deal with that. We could have just replayed it at instant speed there if we wanted to, but I like to keep them off balance. This is clearly a Narset deck. They want to use memory and Narset also to blow us up. But they didn't appear to have a counter for that Wandering Emperor, although they did have a commit. Ooh, good cards. Responses? Maybe they counter it this time. Gear Hulk to dig through time at instant speedums. Okay. Kind of desperate for a dig through time. Guards, to me. Kill that. Plus it up. Got the edge in this fight. See what they do now with their fresh cards. They will consider. No meat hook. I do not want a meat hook. Last turn. Let's shark. If we can draw into counter spells and creature lands, we can tempo them out from here. There's my my innovation. Divide by zero. All right. Let's keep plusing over here. We want their removal spell to go on the non-flyer, of course, if they're going to cast one.
Iorian? Iorian. It's getting to be that time. I want them to use the sanitarium. I want to cycle these temporary lockdowns. Instead, they commit the Nar the Wandering Emperor again. Again. Okay. Patience. There's their Narset. Now what? We can attack it. We can attack it for four. We can also divide it by zero in response to some kind of a triggered thing. Yeah. Yeah, we have we have answers. We have tricks. Encounter no obstacles. I have just the trick for this. Another push, so they're going to try to protect her. So I think what I'm going to try to do is bounce her when they use the sanitarium. Or I can force the sanitarium use now, but I shuffle away my wandering emperor. I guess that's fine. It's just a wandering emperor. Because if they use it right now, they don't Narset lock me. I haven't drawn a card this turn. If they use it on my turn, well, it's a lot meaner. Mm. Okay. This is fine. Now we hope they go for a memory, a Narset wheel. If they do, we divide by zero the Narset, or we can divide by zero the memory. Either way, they use their whole turn, then we get the Narset off the board. Uh-huh, more considers. Another land. One, two, three, four, five. They don't have mana for a Gear Hulk at instant speed, so they can't memory me in response. Now go for the throat. Sure. Rewind to fairy. Send the creature land. We gotta have it. They let me get the map token, that's a good sign. They could not defend her. Our set down. We shall not miss you. Although I am a known Narset enjoyer. Narset's one of those cards that's great when it's your card. Terrible when it's someone else's. Alright, they confound. They find something new. They did bin some good stuff. Thought sees me. Gross. Third thought sees. If they don't take to fairy, I don't know if that's good or bad for me. <laughs> I it's to fairy. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Another one. All right. Well, we push it through. What do we do? We're in a lot more trouble now. We could let them play it, tick it, then divide it. But if we divide it, what can we get? We can get intro to annihilation. Yeah, we, we, we have answers. So let's see if they counterspell to force this through. If they do, they're tapped out. Okay. They sure know their way around a Narset, don't they? But if we have a non-land on top, we get to kill it. So let's try that. It's really the only reasonable play. Yeah. I won't forget our time together. Yeah, they're still they're still short on being able to cast Narset and Memory in the same turn. Also, the Anchorage is now much more threatening to future Narsets if they downtick them. 
Two Narset's dead. Field of Ruin. Ah. Shieldred. Shieldred. That's another way to get the job done, isn't it? I guess we have to do this. Udawara can deal with Shieldred. Let's leave it on top. They can make me shuffle though, can't they? Yes, they can. It can deal with Shieldred in response to the commit to memory. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. Okay, get those lands. Now they threaten to do both in the same turn. It's gonna get exciting. Don't Odawara yet. I think I wanna play the Yorian. In which case, maybe I'm supposed to play the Odawara as a land. So I have rewind. Yeah. I'm going to take a lot of damage. Gotta believe we'll find an answer. But is rewind what I need when I have a veto? Not really. Let's hold the Odawara. You are not Yorian. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I holding a temporary lockdown like it's Yorian? Verdict. Yeah, might need that. And having the land is really nice. Definitely bottom. Actually, I'm going to bottom this land too. Okay. Now it's all in the timing. The opponent goes, they know I have a veto, or at least they should know, but they also know I don't have the mana for a rewind right now. So if they go for Narset and they have the untapped land, which we know they do, and I veto the Narset, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose to the memory. Tricky, tricky situation. All right, we still know one of the cards in their hand. Seven life. They go for the memory. That's the veto. And we still have to have rewind open next turn. If we don't, bad things gonna happen. We also have to be on the watch for this Hall of the Storm Giants, which is also lethal. Two, three, four, five. We could play to fairy, but that won't help us that much. Let's use the map. We hit a land. Yeah, this is going to be dangerous. I wonder if I'm in a situation where I'm supposed to lock down my omens and then find a way to break the lock. Yeah, they know about the rewind. They're a sensor deck. They've already been through three, I think. Okay, here's Shieldred. They don't know I have other answers. So if they force this Shieldred through with a negate, then what? Then what? If they run out the Narset, I can hit it with the Yorian and the Restless. They're gonna shock. So what do they need four mana for? They must have another two mana play in hand, but it's not a sensor. Is it another negate? That would be a tragedy. It's a good draw. Because they can go field to get another land, then negate. 
known for my excellent don't know why they're itching on the field they want to oh they want to resolve this shuffle before their shieldred is gone okay Okay. Since we're probably about to get Narset wield, do we need to play this Wandering Emperor? We can still play it in response next turn, but then we don't have two mana up for the one card we draw. I've learned much during my travels. Let so we are dead here. Talking. To removal spell on the 2 2 if we attack with the Yorian. Yeah, there's the go for the throat. That's the two mana card they had. Yep, here comes the combo. Past, present, and future are bound by threads of time. I hate it. Amazing. They've only got one mana. Hone your prowess. The Orion's back in the deck though, right? Yeah, it is. And could be trash. You never know. We sat on two lockdowns the whole game. Yeah, thought sees me. Do it. Lose two. I mean, Hall of Storm Giant's gonna get loose. Of course, they have Hall on the backswing, don't they? Nice. You know what's funny is seven, eight, nine, ten. Almost dead, but not quite dead. Also, fatal push, right? I have to make sure the Narset dies. There's no question there. All can do that. <clears throat> yes, we know about the push. It's obvious. You play so slow, your priority sticks everywhere you go. Now, this is tough. I don't know if I can beat their haul, but I think I have enough mana. Oh, okay. Okay. It's six mana, not seven, to power up my haul to block their haul. But we can pay ward cost on a get lost. But if they have a counter, we lose. Oh, they also have to remove this. Yeah, okay. There are enough stairs that maybe we survive here. They actually do have to start worrying about the counterattack. I mean... Okay. Could blow up an omen for map tokens. Is that worth it? Them going to nine is a potential counterattack for lethal. The map tokens also... They could get me there. And then what do I have left? Then I'll have four mana left. I think I'm dead. Yeah, there's nothing I could cycle the farmland into that could also hit the hall. So let's see if they drew into exactly the nuts. Do they have another removal spell? and the ability to power up all the Storm Giants here to go with the double Thought Seize and Fatal Push they already drew. I mean, it is a draw seven. It's not ridiculous, but it sure is frustrating. It's a lot of timeouts to find lethal if that's what they have. Makes me feel optimistic. Hive, oh God. Another thing I have to somehow survive. So they don't have a spot removal spell or I'd be dead. Not another lockdown. They don't have a spot removal spell. They might have a shark typhoon. We 
They have a blocker in the Hall of the Storm Giants that we can't remove at this point. They have a hive that's coming over that's not lethal. Remember your training. Let's try for a memory. That should make them a little nervous. Veto, Field of Ruin. Did I already play my land? I don't think so. I did. Oh, that's a mistake. That's a dumb mistake. I should be better than that. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a deluge. Leaving up three. Which I only need two. Ah, that field of ruin mistake is going to be huge. Can't run into the hall. Another riddle, huh? Two pushes in the graveyard. They found something they really like. Probably a dig through time. You can hope so. A gear hulk. Potentially lethal gear hulk. Maybe I should have countered the riddle. All right, they don't have another removal spell. It means I have to counter this. And still power up all. Insanely close. I deserve to lose now, though. Playing that land. Nope, that was not the way. Take two more. <laughs> I mean, as far as cards I want them to draw, Thought Seize is one of them. They're getting really close to dead as well. Uh, sanitarium. Okay. Ropey go ropers. Got a 30 minute game going here. And I've got a chance. Or it's the longest slow roll of a lethal I've ever seen. Yep. Still enough to power up the hall. Don't tell me you powered up that hive and now you don't know what to do with it. You take out the Teferi, right? You take out the Teferi. There it is. Target. Let's go for it. Might be a trap, but I'll take it. We'll take that. No longer enough mana to power up Hall. Which means all we have to do is get around this Gear Hulk. Gear Hulk would have to chump as well. Nothing there gets around a Gear Hulk. Do I make the Gear Hulk jump? Or do I play Yorian? Still at five. And I would not be able to use the Field of Ruin. I'm gonna hope to make the Gear Hulk jump this way. Don't hit a land. Beautiful. Taking it? <laughs> One more time. 
Yorian. If you set a stop on the end step, the flash ability of Wanderer lets you use it again upon re-entry. Like so. Little draw discard. I divide. I divide. There's still a chance to learn a lesson. May I resolve my omen of the sea trigger opponent? Or are you getting salty? Uh, sure, get lost. Yeah, no more temporary lockdowns this game. Time to draw the bangers. Another, okay, go for the throat. Yeah, of course. You got something? Gotta do it now. Interesting, giving me a wandering emperor like that, but I don't think that's what we need here. By the way, those map tokens off the omen earlier, clutch. They say good game. Does that mean they're dead? Or does that mean they somehow clutched it? Going for it. We'll try to let Yorian do the honors. It's a field of ruin. The Sky Noodle prevails! Best of one blue white. 36 minute casual, one little piece of rank match in Explorer. Let's go. Go, And we are back for the post-game wraps. And you can't say I didn't work for my undefeated. Dang it. The problem is I can't put it in the title. I can't put it in the title. Because it's a 36-minute game. And if I give away the ending, it's not entertaining anymore. The whole... Guys, <clears throat> you out there who want to be the next CGB, the next one in best of one. You want to have a thriving YouTube, raking in the dollars, playing magic, squashing noobs on ladder. That's the life you want. Let me tell you something you're doing wrong. You don't put the win rate, like 100% win rate in the thumbnail when you have a 30 minute game because the whole suspense of that game is the outcome. You have put so much emphasis of your video around one game that the outcome is the only thing that keeps people watching. And if they already know, they're just gonna leave. So no, this thumbnail will not say 100% win rate, although it's factual and correct. No, it, it'll say, you know, something nice about Explorer. Not the thing about gouging out my own eyes with a spoon not that it'll say something nicer than that anyway i hope you enjoyed this one game for ray into explore it's exactly like i could pull up the untapped gg you're just gonna have to believe me I, I i built the deck i queued up one game that's what i got and it's a whole freaking video <laughs> Woo! <laughs> control mage life for me also uh give it up we got commit to memory we got memory narsetted we got memory narsetted with our blue white control deck. They drew seven, we drew one. We won that game. Easy. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next one. You're cool.